Welcome to the Church of the Holy Trinity in Juneau, Alaska, for noonday prayer on this Saturday. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. To you I lift up my eyes, to you enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of a servant look to the hand of their masters, and the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he show us his mercy. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Too much of the scorn of the indolent rich and of the derision of the proud. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading today is from the book of Revelation. And to the angel of the church in Thyatira, these are the words of the Son of God, who has eyes like a flame of fire and whose feet are like burnished bronze. I know your works, your love, faith, service and patient endurance. I know that your last works are greater than your first, but I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophet and is teaching and beguiling my servants to practice fornication and to eat food sacrificed to idols. I gave her time to repent, but she refuses to repent of her fornication. Beware. I am throwing her on a bed, and those who commit adultery with her I am throwing into great distress, unless they repent of her doings. And I will strike her children dead, and all the churches will know that I am the one who searches minds and hearts, and I will give to each of you as your works deserve. But to the rest of you in Teatira, who do not hold this teaching, who have not learned what some call the deep things of Satan, to you I say, I do not lay on you any other burden. Only hold fast to what you have until I come. To everyone who conquers and continues to do my works to the end, I will give authority over the nations to rule them with an iron rod. As even when clay pots are shattered, even as I also received authority from my Father. To the one who conquers, I will also give the morning star. Let anyone who has an ear to listen to what the Spirit is saying to the churches. Hear what the Spirit is saying to God's people. Thanks be to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and mercy, give your blessings to the Diocese of Alaska. Watch over our churches, sustain our people, strengthen our leaders. Through the Holy Spirit, guide and guard the Diocese, keeping it always under your care and protection. Let us be a loving family, serving you in faithful devotion to the gospel of your Son, Jesus Christ. Give your blessings to Mark, our bishop. Give him a spirit of courage and right judgment 
the spirit of knowledge and love. Let your Holy Spirit be his companion. Let your gospel be always in his thoughts. May your presence in his life be a light for all to see in every good work for the building up of your people and to the glory of your holy name. Give us the blessing of your example. Help us to follow in the way of Jesus today and every day. Give us compassion at the center of all we do. Compassion for ourselves as disciples still young in faith. Compassion for others as members of our own family in God. Let us become examples for others, as so many others have been examples to us, through your love and for the sake of your glory. Watch over all elders and the brothers and sisters of the Society of St. Simeon and St. Anna. If any are in time of sorrow, sickness, or need, give them the touch of your healing hand. If any are in times of joy, thanksgiving, or fulfillment, give them the song of angels to praise your name. And let us be your servants in this life, just as we will be your sons and daughters in the life to come. We pray today, O God of Revelation, as we gather in praise for the gracious mystery of your Son. We remember the many needs of your church and the world. For our church, we pray for our presiding bishop, Michael Curry, for the Episcopal Anglican province of Alexandria, for our bishop, Mark Patine, and his family, in this diocese, St. Thomas Church, Point Hope, and in this deanery, St. Brendan's in Juneau. We pray for those in leadership positions, especially our president, our president-elect, our governor, our mayor, and all elected officials as they make difficult decisions in the days ahead. We pray for the residents of Wildflower Court, the Pioneer Home, the Lemon Creek Correctional Center, Johnson Youth Center, Family Promise, Haven House, the Warming Center at the Jack and Centennial Hall, and the Glory Home. We pray for peace and safety and a peaceful transition. We pray for the end of the COVID-19 pandemic, Especially we pray for Gail, Leah and Kira, Rosie and Gail, Charles, Jeanette, for Tony, for Bishop Tony Burton, for Jim Bird, for Jeff Brown, for Mary and Jacob, for Larry Snee, the Vance family, the Kelly family, for Martha Ellen, Saul, Reed, the Gallenbush family, and for Laura Laurel. For Thanksgiving, we give thanks that all of the families in Family Promise have been housed in permanent housing. We pray for the departed, for Lisa Akiyama, for Hank Ketzler, Mark Bagley, Terrence Cole, Peter Gallenbush, for Josh Ashcraft, Kieran Moore, Stephanie Vance, Ralph Kelly, Pastor Larry Laurel, and for all who have died during this pandemic. I invite you to offer your petitions and intercessions at this time. Guide us on the path of salvation and reconciliation, O God, that the radiance and power of your Holy Spirit working in the world will gather together all peoples and all nations in one community to offer you worship and proclaim your splendor. Amen. Today we honor Julia Chester Emery, lay leader and missionary, who passed on January 9, 1922. 
God of all creation, who calls us to make disciples of all nations and proclaim your mercy and love, grant that we, after the example of your servant, Julia Chester Emery, might have vision and courage in proclaiming the gospel to the ends of the earth through Jesus Christ, our light and our salvation, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May Christ dwell in our hearts by faith. Amen. Amen.